With COVID cases and hospitalizations now climbing, today the CDC declared most of North Texas, which we have highlighted for you here real simply, showing a high level of community spread. But how concerned are our health officials here in North Texas? That's the question. And what, if anything, should you be doing to maybe protect yourself? Aaron Jones is getting you some answers tonight. Tonight, local health officials tell us that they believe the BA275 variant will become the dominant variant here in North Texas in just about the next three weeks. Their message is still the same get protected as much as you can. Ashley Crawford is noticing family and friends testing positive for COVID. As you know, throughout the people, you know, with the people that I know, um, you know, a case here and a case there. Um, one in particular, you know, he's like, it's not even been a year since I had COVID the last time. You know, how did this happen? Right now, the percent of positive cases is rising in Texas, just over 30%. It doesn't surprise me because I think everybody has left, let their guard down. And um, I think that, you know, people just assume that it's gone and it's not. The CDC says older Americans, 70 and above, are faring the worst. Data from UT Southwestern shows positive cases are climbing towards what we saw back in the beginning of this year. And that's just what's being reported. But this latest bump, right, in cases, uh, it is definitely the situation that there are more cases out there than we know. We asked Dr. Joseph Chang, the chief medical officer at Parkland, who is the most at risk. So uh, folks who have uh, one booster uh, or haven't had any boosters, we're seeing a lot of breakthrough in those folks, upwards of 50 to 60 percent. The important thing, too, with these variants to understand is that even though they're getting more transmissible, they're getting more infectious, they're actually getting weaker in terms of causing disease. Locally, hospitalizations still low. Hospitalizations in my hospital have only gone up into the 20s. If you'll recall, at peak of Omicron, at peak of Delta, we were talking about two to 300 cases in my hospital. As far as symptoms, it seems like it's milder than it was the last time they got it. So most people are grateful that they were vaccinated. And in terms of masks, health experts tell us if you're going to be inside in a place with a lot of people, it might be a good idea to wear a mask. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.